Keep your hands moistened with water while handling the tree frog. I am Margo Miller, and this is one of our red-eyed tree frogs. We have three, uno, dos, tres, and this one is uno. Where do these frogs come from? This is a red-eyed tree frog, and they come from the rainforest in southern Mexico, throughout Central America, and northern South America. What kind of lifespan can you expect with these frogs? They mature after they are two years old, and they can live to be five to ten years old. What does the diet consist of for these frogs? Well, <laughs> they are carnivores. They can eat insects, crickets, moths, flies, and other small frogs. What are the distinct colorations on the frog? They are brightly colored green to camouflage with leaves. They have a vivid yellow and blue stripe on their flank or the side of their body to help confuse their predators. Their color and size can vary depending on where they are from. Where do they spend most of their time? They are arboreal animals, which means they spend most of their time in trees. Their feet have sticky pads, which are located on their toes, to climb and hang on leaves. Tree frogs also have three islands. What kind of housing would be required to keep such an animal? Ten gallon tanks for a pair of red-eyed tree frogs is sufficient. Cage top should be half glass and half screen to help keep humidity levels higher. Red-eyed tree frogs do best at temperatures ranging from 60 to 85 degrees, though the low period of time at their temperature extremes can be unhealthy for the animals. They do very well at average daytime temps of about 75 to 80 degrees and a nighttime temperature of 70 to 75. Usually red-eyed tree frogs do well at room temperature, but if needed, an under tank heater, low wattage, incandescent bulb, or ceramic emitters can be used to range the temperature of the enclosure. The substrate provided should be able to help hold higher humidity levels a layer of three to five inches of substrate, such as potting soil or moss, can be used. And what about their sleeping habits? They are nocturnal, so during the day while sleeping, they cover their blue sides with their back legs, their bright feet go under their belly while their eyes go completely shut. This helps them appear to be completely green and hidden. This is what they look like while they are sleeping. This is what their caged home should appear to look like. Their predators include spiders, snakes, bats, and birds. Due to the sensitive skin, keep the handling of amphibians to a minimum. Uh, do you know what's green? Well, I am, for one thing. You see, frogs are green, and I'm a frog, and that means I'm green, you see. It's not that easy being green Having to spend each day the color of the leaves When I think it could be nicer Being red or yellow or gold Or something much more colorful like that It's not easy being green.